Hello, I'm back again with the designer um, picks and the first one we'll go with is Poison Girl Unexpected. I've almost used all of my Poison Girl original and this one I like even more because you've got the orange cream scent but also this burst of ginger or something at the beginning that makes it amazingly bright. I might go through all my perfumes um, one by one and actually do proper reviews because this is just an overview because my phone just has a few minutes on it really so... I'm just doing overviews at the moment of um, top favourites. And this is Lolita Lempica. And this is a licorice, gourmand, musky, really warming, beautiful scent. We've got Cinema here by YSL. I love this one. I can smell florals and I've got some on my left hand and I can smell florals and sort of caramel sweetness underneath. This is Kenzo's Lee Elixir. This is one of my favourites. I've used lots of this. It's very gourmand. You have got the florals and I think there's rose and praline and oh, it's just a wonderful scent. This is World, um, Kenzo again, and I think Francis Kirk John is the creator of this. This is so fresh. It's actually, I find it unbelievable. I spray it on and it's just really uplifting, really fresh. This is Prada Low and this, for some reason to my nose, it's tropical. I get coconuts and things that I haven't seen described that are meant to be in it. But to me, it's a lovely, sweet, fruity, coconut type scent. I've got Narciso Rodriguez Fleur Musk. So you've got all the um, gorgeous scent of the musk that they use that I really, I think I've gone on about that one before, but it's a really lovely musk um as the base and then you've got the flowers really beautiful scent and this is a new scent that i've got and this is javonchi's blossom crush and i love this because when i spray it i don't just get blossoms and flowers i get banana um the scent of banana but i mean that fresh green banana scent not the sort of sweet ripe scent for some reason that's what i get with florals and i love that on my skin i've got chloe love here which I can smell beautiful, hyacinth in, it's very clean and fresh, got a rice note as well. And this one is Autendre, which has quince and I think it's citrus fruits in, but it's also quite warming underneath, the base is really nice. And last but not least, I've got Dior Addict, and as you can see, I've got two versions of this, because I was listening to Super Day Cub reviewing, and he was saying how the original smells so much better because of the oak moss element that they're allowed to use then and um, he's right I like both he didn't say it smells so much better he's saying there's the oak moss side to it if you want it but I like both of them and it's uh, this one smells a little bit harsh the newer reformulation at the beginning but it once it's uh, settled it's beautiful it's vanilla very warming and um, yeah that's my uh, top 10 I think that's 10 and <laughs> I meant to do some honorary mentions as well but um, I thought I'd better try and stick to the top 10 and I hope anyone else who fancies doing it will join in and I'm hoping I've gone through all of them because I sort of whizzed through but as I say I'm going to review each of my scents um, one by one so I can actually say a lot more about them because some of them need a lot more um, saying because there's so much going on in them but these are the beauties for today thanks for watching take care bye